So, Aaron, you are much younger than me. Okay. Do you remember the Abbott and Costello who's on first yes. thing? Okay. Yeah. Like who's on first, who's <laughs> yeah. on second, uh, yep. first base or third base or whatever it is. Okay. I felt like in the sprint car world about three weeks ago, I was part of an, we were all part of an yes. Abbott Cost and Costello thing. <laughs> okay. It started with Rico is no longer driving for Rico. Yeah. Rico fired Rico. Yeah. Okay. And then the next day we find out that Jack is driving for Rico. Which I love. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that, too. Are you kidding me? Uh, oh, well, then they go to Phoenix or to Arizona, and Rico is driving for Paul. Yes. Okay. Which, okay, I don't even know where, because a couple of years ago, one of them fired the other one. Yeah. But that's 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 sprint car, guys. That happens all the time. Okay. <laughs> and then all of a sudden we hear that Rico is co-owning for Jason. Yeah. Rico's and I'm like, got a lot going on. And I'm like, oh, my God, who's on first? <laughs> it's like, who's on second? What's on third? Um, so we're going to sort this all out today because we're going to, and, and we'll probably have a grin or a chuckle along the way because we're going yeah. to have Rico and Jason at the same time. <laughs> now, this is, this has never been done before, Rico and Jason, and it may not be advisable. Um, but that's what we're going to do. So, um, yes, um, uh, it, it is, it is great. Jason's getting ready. I, I love, I love Every one of these individually, I love. Me too. I don't know how we got here. We're going to let Rico tell us that. (laughs) I don't know how we got here, but I love. Whatever it is. Every one of these, whatever it is. Yeah. I love it. Aggressive Hydraulics provides solutions for virtually every industry that uses hydraulic cylinders. For instance, agriculture, construction, defense, emergency services, energy, food processing, forestry, marine, mining, railway, and even truck equipment. They design and manufacture mobile-style single-stage cylinders as well as multi-stage telescopic cylinders. It's a no one-size-fits-all approach with Aggressive Hydraulics. Check out their story at AggressiveHydraulics.com. Sage Fruit is a premium grower, packer, and shipper of Washington tree fruit. Apples, pears, and cherries, and it's always an exceptional eating experience, and they're grown in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. High-quality fruit, exceptional flavor, healthy snacking, and they're a longtime supporter of Sprint Cars, Sprint Car Racing, and Wing Nation. Make sure when you go to your local grocery store, ask for Sage Fruit. Circle B Diecast is the new Diecast outlet from Plan B Sales. What started as Lionel and Chase Authentics apparel distributor has grown into the largest distributor of Diecast and now includes Auto World Greenlight Collectibles, Brand Art, Sam Bass Artwork and University of Racing Lines. They have a huge inventory. The folks at Circle B Diecast love racing and support drivers like Kyle Larson, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Christopher Bell, and many others with sponsorships and partnerships. And on orders over $20, use promo code MRN for free shipping. Check them out, CircleBDiecast.com. All right, so our very own sprint car version of Abbott and Costello. Who's on first? Who's on second? Uh, Rico no longer drives for Rico. Jack drives for Rico. Rico Cohen. Okay, well, anyhow, we're going to sort this out. Joining us on the line, uh, first off, let's go to Rico Abreu. Hello, Rico. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, so you <laughs> you, okay, you okay, f- fired <laughs> yourself. The good news is the next Someone day Someone had to do it. Yeah. The next day you <laughs> redeemed yourself by making everybody happy by hiring Jack. How did that all happen? Oh, I, I just, uh, I thought it was the right move at that time. Now, now I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, it's great to have Jack run in my car for some, uh, Ward of Outlaw shows this year. So I'm really excited. And Jack's, uh, Jack's been around the block a few more times than me, so uh, I should learn a lot from him running my car. All right, so we're going to bring Jason, and Jason's the next chapter of this. Uh, Jason, how are you? I'm good. Good. What do you think of Jack getting an opportunity? We all love Jack. Okay, who doesn't love Jack? This is pretty cool for Jack to get the opportunity to drive for Rico in some in some top-flight equipment, Jason. Oh, I agree. I mean, like you said, Jack's been around for a while, and, uh, you know, he deserves to uh, – have a really good ride, you know, just the last few races that, that, that he's going to run. You know, I talked to him last year. And he said he was about done. So this will be a good good opportunity opportunity for him to uh, have some have some decent equipment under him and uh, go out in style. Plus, I think he may be the only one that can fit in Rico's car. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you could, Jason? 
Even even the downsized uh, Jason couldn't fit in there? I don't think so. Uh-uh. <laughs> Are we still downsizing? Are we still on our health kick? Uh, pretty much. We just kind of maintain now. Um, <laughs> we're uh, probably a little up from what I, my lightest point, but uh, I'm still I'm still down and uh, feel good. Good. That's awesome, Rico. If everyone is still following along, can we go to now you driving with Paul, for Paul Silva? How did how did this come about? Yeah. Um, really, uh, really. Uh, unique opportunity for me and uh really lucky to be in the position to get to run for um so it, it's the works limited 57 so um kevin kozlowski is the car owner and then paul silva is going to be the the or the crew chief and i got to run in arizona about a week and a half ago uh and it went really well um obviously we didn't get to win but i felt like we were in uh contention to win and that's the most important part about winning sprint car races so um, they were looking for a driver and it kind of, um, you know, they understood that I was able to run some races and, uh, and, you know, fill in for the races that Kyle couldn't run on the West coast. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity for me to, um, get back racing with, um, such a great crew chief like Paul Silva is. And then, uh, Kevin Kozlowski, the car owner and, uh, you know, try to get him some wins. Okay, so I think we've got everybody where we know we're going. I think that, and that's a major accomplishment with this whole story. Now let's go back to the first part of this. Okay, Rico, your website you list your favorite drivers: Parnelli Jones and Jack Audenshield, Which well, there's nothing in common there at all. Okay, um, the opportunity to field a car for Jack. How did this all come about, and what does it mean to you to be able to do this? Yeah, it's it, it means a lot. Um, Jack's always been um, my hero since the day I got to see him race at Calistoga Speedway um, back in uh, I want to say like '96 or '97. I think maybe it was a, a little later than that, but I remember um, seeing Jack go around there and, and just his wild driving style, and then it always allowed me to follow him uh, even before I knew I could. Um, you know, I, I knew, I didn't know that much about sprint car racing, um, you know, just cause no one in my family was really big behind it. Um, you know, and then, uh, the late two thousands, uh, our family friends introduced us to, to sprint car racing again. And, uh, we were able to, uh, travel a little bit more and race with them locally and, uh, which made it really fun for me. And then understanding that I got, finally got an opportunity to fit in a car and that I was capable to, to race. So. Um, I always followed Jack's career, uh, and then, um, just becoming friends with the hot and child family and Sheldon and Patty and Raquel and Jack and, and Dan and Pella and, um, you know, just all really down to earth, great people. So I enjoy my time, you know, away from the track, getting to spend with all of them. And it's, um, you know, it was, I felt like the opportunity for Jack to run my car was all there where we had all the equipment for him to race. And, uh, we were able to field a car a couple races the last few years and last year we uh we missed the opportunity due to covid but um you know this year we're gonna um you know get our money's worth rico i, I just love that you're doing this for jack i think it's, a, it's such a special way for him to go out and good equipment and it's just another sign of you giving back to to our sport and, and adding to it and with that being said jason we've talked for years about how difficult it is to just stay on the road and the expenses of the world of outlaws how important and how crucial and key is it that Rico has now teamed up with you for the season? Well, I mean, it's big. Uh, you know, along with our other partners with WTS and different ones that help us out, um, Rico comes along and, and helps us to the point where it keeps us out here, keeps us going for another couple of years. Um, without, without that, you know, it's, it's tough to do it. But uh, at the same time, it makes it a little bit easier for us to, to keep going and, uh, you know, It'll, it'll, it'll help out all the way down, you know, for a couple of years. Well, and I think that's the thing, Jason. This sport will beat a well-funded team down, okay? I mean, it just – and I'll be honest with you. I think I talked to you at Lakeside last year, and I thought, my God, that's the first time I've seen Jason beat up. I just felt like you – and I'd, we're friends, we're buddies, and, 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 and I tell you this, this, is, this has got to be – there's got to be a little fresh air, not only Rico around because he's just a fun guy to be around with – but but to help with some of some of the behind the scene things that team owner Jason Sides has had to deal with over the last few years. Oh exactly. I mean, just uh, you know, any kind of help 
you know, any, anywhere around it is always appreciated, and uh, it'll, it'll make for a, a fun year. Absolutely. Rico, we've talked to you a lot in the past about your charity work, how you love to give back, and I think both of these examples with Jack and Jason, you're giving back to the sport of sprint car racing. How important is that to you to be able to do that and help others? I mean, I think it's just it just speaks so highly of your character. Yeah, I just um, I enjoy doing it, and it's it's it makes it really fun for me, and and really balances um, you know my racing lifestyle where I'm not so um, you know I'm not so worried at the racetrack when um, and and if and if you look at these people that we, you know I've been so attached to they're all really fun personalities um <laughs> you know and i really uh it's really important that that you know it's it gets so intense at the track but when you're away from the track you connect with these people and um that's really where you understand who somebody is and um you know between uh you know jason size and jack Hunchild, I, I really get to enjoy my time away from the races uh with with people like those individuals I think just hearing you say that gives me an instant hangover. I, mean, <laughs> I, I already feel it coming on. <laughs> yeah, I like feel this. Yeah, feel it's like, I feel like a hangover coming on. I mean, good God Almighty, that's like a dream gig. I mean, you know, that's rock star material. I mean, that's like that's like, but it's two rock stars. Uh, that is that is cool, Rico. So you talked a little bit about your combination of the fifty seven car. Do you have a do you have a number of races that you're going to do, or hasn't that been determined yet? Um, it hasn't really been determined. I don't. Um, I know it's um, you know majority of the West Coast Lord of Outlaw races, but um, you know it's nothing. I guess is really set in stone. So it, I could be. Um, you know, on one side of the country and my car is running on the other side of the country with Jack. So, uh, we're just trying to figure out all the logistics of that. And I'm excited and it's, um, you know, I got to, uh, I want to really, really focus on, on getting some good results for these guys. Jason, when you talk about staying on the road for a few more years and teaming up with Rico, what are some of the areas that you needed help with most? I mean, obviously, finances are always number one, but on top of that, is it management or helping with your sponsorships and keeping them happy? Like, what are some of the things that you think Rico can help you out with? Well, um, the biggest thing, like I said, not, not so much the financial, but uh, the management part uh, as far as logistics and different things with you know, hotels and, and getting some stuff done that uh, usually I'm trying to do while I'm driving down the road, you know, making hotel reservations or, or calling and getting this or that, you know, shipped somewhere. But, um, you make it a little bit easier where I can, you know, give a call and, and have some of that handled for us. No doubt. I mean, I can't imagine doing that. You're right. You're driving down the road for all, you're those, years. For all those years doing that, and you, you kind of know where you're going. Uh, Rico, my question is you're shoprico.com. Of course, you're a, uh, you're a souvenir and collectible guru and rock star in that end of the business. Will there be Jack stuff and will there be Jason stuff? So, um, being a, um, an ownership on um, the World of Outlaw Tour allows you to sell merchandise so now people will have full access of jason sides um <laughs> merchandise oh, 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 as well and God. i'm gonna really uh, make a big push for jason and getting him some revenue on that end towards his team uh which will allow um you know another form of income for him to uh stay on the world of outlaw tour and be um funded where he doesn't have to dig into his own pocket and um, you know, and, and race out of, you know, that, that money. That is awesome. I <laughs> love that. Sign now, me up shirts, hats, yeah. everything. We're, 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 when, when are you going to have, when's this stuff going to be out? <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> now I'm sure you already steps ahead of me on this, but I sure hope that we see Jason and Jack in some of your crazy videos that you do, that you put out on yeah, social well, media. Uh, this summer we're going to, I want to make sure we hit it hard with the I mean, social media you got some characters. And, yes, I do. Yes, there is. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like the best day ever for sprint car racing. I'm telling you. You, you can talk about big wins and, and, and all of this. This, to me, I, this is the best thing that's ever happened in sprint. I mean, this is unreal. <laughs> I can't even believe this. Okay. So I, I mentioned earlier, Rico, that I went to your website and saw Parnelli Jones and Jack Hodden shield your favorite drivers. Your favorite food is sushi, okay? 
Jason Sides, are you a sushi eater? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm more along with the lines of uh, right now grilled chicken and broccoli. Yeah, oh, that's true. You're on your, <laughs> yeah. you're on your, you're on your, uh, your lockdown fast and feeding stuff. So right. Oh my god. So what happens to Sides Bar and Grill? Is it going to get a, like a oh, Rico and Sides Bar and Grill and you going to get an upgrade, huh, Jay? Oh, two <laughs> right. floors. Yeah, we're going to have two stories or something. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, guys, I'm telling. I, I am serious. This is I, 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 I really appreciate you guys both coming on and breaking yeah. this down for us because. Um, all three of you, Jack, Jason, you, Rico, we, we, and I say we, we as Sprint Car fans and Aaron and I as individuals, we love each one of you guys. And to see this come together and the fun and the merchandise and the fast race cars and everything else, I am telling you, this is just like the best, I'll tell you, this might be the best day ever. It might very well be. Uh, Jason, uh, as you get ready to uh, to roll off for Volusia this weekend, um, we just wish you the best and, uh, and, and and can't wait to see how it all goes with this uh, this new situation you have. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, we're here uh, now and uh, I think we, we're going out there tonight. There's a, they have an open practice with the modified. Okay, so we're gonna so, yeah. run little, the car a little bit. Got a little practice shaking it down. And Rico, on your end of it, um, thank you again. And we always appreciate the fun and the good times. And uh, we wish you and your liver the best as you roll through this season. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys. You got it. Oh, it sounds like we moved to the kitchen <laughs> or the workshop, one or the other. So, Jason Sides and Rico Abreu, man, I'll tell you what, I- I'm serious. Yeah. This this is just what. <sighs> It does not get any better. First off, it doesn't get any bigger than Rico's heart. It doesn't. I was just going to say that. I've always been a fan of Rico. From the first time I saw him race to the times I've met him and talked to him and the things he's done for charity, for our sport. But this, to me, is just like perfect Rico. He's giving Jack an awesome chance to go out on his terms, driving for him, and then to help Jason, who's been a longtime veteran of the World of Outlaws and who has done it by the skin of his teeth for years. I have a Jason Sides t-shirt from years and years and years ago, and it is wore out. You're going to see me with brand new Jason Sides gear. I, I'm, I, I have shared with you guys that my World of Outlaw routine is go to the track, kind of hang around, kick around with everybody, and then when the night is done, it's the Sides Bar and Grill. And there are times when they're getting ready to move down the road, so yeah. I'm just the guy in the corner drinking the beer trying to stay <laughs> out of the way. And then there are times, like a couple years ago, when Volusia, they're turning off the lights, and Jason Sides, Steve Kinzer, Paul Sides, oh. Steve Post, and Tony Stewart are standing around drinking beer. Okay, so I'm telling you, Jason, I, that is a friend. More so than anyone else, Jason is a friend. And I swear when I saw him at Lakeside, I left there with an ill feeling in my heart because he was down and, 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 and beat up. Yeah. And then when I see this, I'm just like, okay, my, my man is back. Mm-hmm. And um, there, there's work to do. There's no denying that. But I'm telling you what, that is so good for everybody involved. I, I just, I, I can't even believe how good this is. All around. All around. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you, you rarely find a scenario that is win, 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 win for everybody. And it's like, who loses in this deal? Nobody, Nobody. loses. Nobody loses. And, and part of it's opened up because Kyle Larson has moved on to NASCAR, yeah. so that 57 car has opened up. But it's just like, oh, my God. Oh, wait, but he's still going to get to some run yeah, some, some races, races so, so we we'll still see. win there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. I, I, if I wasn't geeked up about the season prior to this, which I was, <laughs> this is through the roof. This is phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, a World of Outlaws, um, they kick it off this weekend. The Dirt Car Nationals at Volusia, Friday, and, uh, Friday through Sunday night. Uh, we mentioned this on Tuesday, 16 touring regulars. My God, what a deep roster they have. Really is. And we talked to Aaron Reitzel on Tuesday, and there's, there's, I see, there's, let, let's, let's do this. We, we, Brad, Logan, Donnie, Sheldon, Carson, David, there's six right there. And that's what, that's what, if, if you didn't catch it, go back and listen to the podcast with Aaron Reitzel. He said, if I can finish fifth in points, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. So there's six. So you throw Reitzel in there. But Jacob Allen is not going to sit where he was last year. No. You yeah. know, I mean, and, and, and Craig's going to be better. J- Jason's going to be better. Be, yeah. Wayne Johnson, you give him a second trip around the horn, he's going to be better. I mean, just unreal. And then PPM, uh, James, James McFadden and the he's nine He's going to be, he might be the little sleeper there. Yeah. I think he's going to be, yeah. Cause so Mc- he's not going to start that. I, I missed the. <clears throat> James um, is still down under. 
Okay. So Casey uh, is going to start, and he's going to okay. run until James can get here. The World of Outlaws have given James a um, an ex, an ex, I forget the phrase, but an extenuating circumstance. He gets seventy five driver points per event. Okay. Until he arrives, and uh, because of the COVID, COVID and being stuck and everything come, yeah. like that. So he's going to be a little behind. Well, I'm 70, I don't I don't understand the points thing. He's getting, but he'll be a little behind. But if you've seen McFadden drive, you've seen yeah. McFadden drive. Yeah. That guy can make up some ground. I'm telling you, that team, and they're partners with Brad. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Brock Zierfoss also, uh, and Aaron Reitzel, and he, oh my God. Dirt Vision has it all this weekend. Uh, my buddy Pete Walton. Oh, yeah. USCS uh, Winter Heat. Presented by Angler Machine and Tool. We talk about this every spring. While everyone is sitting in every part of the country getting rained out, Pete Walton is down there on the Gulf yep. Coast just racing races. 12 races over the next seven weeks is Winter Heat Tour. Uh, and our friends at the ASCS, the National Tour, that kicks off the 26th and 27th at Canyon Raceway Park, just north of Phoenix in Peoria, Illinois, celebrating their 30th year. Unreal. 61 events. Uh, new this year for our friends, it's going to be on Flow Racing as well. Oof. Gosh, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, Sam is gone, uh, 410 Racing, so great, great field of drivers. So ASCS, and then all the regional tours. Brian's been, uh, Brian Hobart, our buddy there, has been putting out all the regional tour schedules. Man, they're coming to a town near you. <laughs> yeah, I'm they telling are. you, AS, we always say, we're coming to a town near you. ASCS is coming to a town near you. Yeah. I'm telling you, they ain't scared to have a race or two. No. Nope. Uh, regional tour, national tour, non-wing, wing, it's all over the place. So great stuff, that is for sure. Um, I, I, I'm telling you, I appreciate Rico and Jason breaking this down <laughs> and uh, giving us a little teaser on what this is going to be like. It mm -hmm. is phenomenal. It really, truly is. Uh, Wing Nation gear is available at wingnation.com. That's www.wingnation.com. Our social media channels are very, very active. Twitter, Facebook, we have a page and a group where we love to have back and forth conversation there. Keep it clean. Keep it family friendly. Occasionally I have to boot somebody out of there because they're <laughs> a knucklehead. We're not talking mean about anybody. Okay. We're having fun on there. We have a YouTube page where all of our interviews are housed as well. Coming up this weekend, Mav TV or Wing Nation on Mav TV on Saturday, Rev TV tonight. If you're listening to this on Thursday, Casey Kane. Oh, championship yeah. winning team owner. Driver for a short period of time, team owner for McFadden, and all-around good guy. Yep. Love Casey Kane. So he is on our TV program this week. Once again, we appreciate Rico Abreu and Jason Sides for joining us. More important, though, than all of that, thank you for joining us here on Wing Nation.